three words last night. Dancing, fun. Make money, make money! I got a 17 and a 20, mark it, baby! And squat. Ding, ding! And then I have the help. So this is helping. <laughs> My name is Tracy Yabolski. I'm the chef and owner of Rockaway Beach Bakery here in Queens, New York. Rockaway Beach is technically part of New York City, which a lot of people don't realize, but it's this tiny little stretch of land in Queens. It's a beach in New York City, and you can take the train to get here, like the Ramones once said. <laughs> There's a lot of really great people that come here, and it's kind of like a melting pot of New York City that goes to the beach. The bakery came to be, I was a pastry chef in Manhattan for, it was like nine or 10 years and I just got really burnt out. I didn't want to listen to anybody else and I just kind of wanted to do my own thing. So I ran this secret bakery out of a marina and I would laminate croissant dough in a bikini with like a Coors Light in one hand. And I didn't have any money or a plan, just kind of like a will and like, I need to figure this out. I can't not do anything. And I said to my now landlord, I said, Phil, what's up with that space next door? He's like, Ah, the people just bailed out. You want to see it? And I was like, sure. And signed a lease like a couple days later. And here I am five and a half years later. So things that we sell at the bakery, a lot of croissants. I, I had no idea that the croissants were going to be the most popular thing. Five years later, hand laminating them, I'm like, maybe it could have been something easier. We're going to be making our everything ham and Swiss croissants, which is one of the things that we're known for. This past Saturday, I sold 54 by 12 o'clock. First thing that we do, we got to put the ham inside, hand slice, and then we do some Swiss cheese. And then what I'm gonna do is roll them up and get them ready to proof. I don't know if it's the everything spice or just like the idea of having something savory or the idea of quick grab and go sandwich, but the ham and Swiss is definitely very popular. Oh, hello. So yesterday before we closed for the day, Gemma came in first. Gemma, I've known since my general green days, we cooked together there. She's one of my best friends and she's the chef at Barbo. And then next, Amy and Karen came in. Amy is one of my friends that lives right around the corner from me. We hang out all the time. Amy is a very talented florist for the New York City area and she makes really rad flowers and sometimes she is extra. She gives them to me. Karen's a blast in a glass. She's super fun to hang out with. She's always down for a party and to ride her bike at as many places as I want to ride my bike. We often ride bikes everywhere. That's the best way to get around Rockaway. Go Choochies, go! Let's go to Rippers! <laughs> Rippers is just the most fun place on the boardwalk. It's such a vibe and anyone feels welcome there. And I think Rippers had a big part of making me fall in love with the Rockaways. Hi, how you doing? I'm well, you? Good, good. Um, may I please have um, a cheeseburger and a hot dog? No and whatever these chooches would like as well. We ordered cheese fries and cheeseburgers. It's so good. It might be my favorite burger. And I got a michelada, which went down way too easily, and a hot dog, because it's always hot dog o'clock. I feel like I'm kind of plain. I feel like the plainer they are, you can just eat more of them. I have like this thing with hot dogs lately. I don't know what it is. And they're also known for beach juice, which is their frozen sangria that I don't know what's in it, but it gets the job done. So we stuffed ourselves with some rippers and then thought it'd be a great idea to hop on our bikes and head uptown to the Rockaway Hotel and get some drinks and food there. Just in case anybody forgot. We're on bike. I'm going. I'm going. We're going! Hold on. <laughs> Just gave him the finger. The jersey <laughs> wag. You gave him the finger? No, that, not this finger, this oh. finger. Oh! <laughs> we might have went through some red lights, but we looked both ways. It was all good. It's fine. Nobody saw. So we got to the Rockaway Hotel, locked up our bikes, and then we headed inside for some cocktails and food poolside. They have an awesome pool with cabanas. They have a restaurant, Margie's, that's great. And then they have a rooftop bar that has a great view of Manhattan as well as the beach. And on the rooftop, you get one of the best views of the sunset. 
It was a nice pool and it was really warm. If I didn't have a very expensive microphone, I was told, I would have jumped right in there. <laughs> we ordered a bunch of food. So we got oysters, which were super refreshing and delicious and came with this little tiny baby bottle of Tabasco. When I worked at North End Grill, they had this like dollar oyster special, but they didn't have enough employees to shuck the oysters. And pastry was always really slow and the dollar oysters got busy. The pastry girls and I, just, we all learned how to shuck oysters really well. Yeah. Like I enjoy opening yeah. oysters. And we got a lobster roll and shrimp cocktail, and we had to get a steak, asparagus. So we ordered this lobster dynamite, which is really great. It's lobster mixed with sriracha mayo on crispy rice. And that's a nice little bite. Anything with lobster, how can you not like it? All right, wings or drumsticks? Flats, blue cheese. Flats? Wings. I never heard it flat. What are we in fucking England? Ah, my favorite. I dream about this cocktail. It's so good. I ordered my favorite drink there called the Shark Bite. It's like this slightly pink watermelon drink, and it has the tagine around the rim, like a preserved blood orange. You can order it by the pitcher, too. Just put it out there. And we hung out until the sun went down and decided it was time to move on. Oh, no, I'm not gonna do it, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so we, we knew we were getting to the point that maybe it'd be smart if we just locked up our bikes and left them at the Rockaway Hotel and hopped in the van. I carry it. Oh, wait. Mom, we need to eat coladas. Oh my God. We're going to Connelly's. It's the oasis of pina coladas and good times. Connelly's is institution in Rockaway on 94th Street, right by the beach. It is known for their frozen pina coladas. But yeah. there's all these like cool pictures on the wall of like broads and like bikinis and like, it's like an old lifeguard hangout spot. Broads. Broads. <laughs> broads. I don't know where I'm from tonight. <laughs> Jersey, that's where you're from. That's from Jersey. So they the do floaters, so you can get a pina colada with a floater. This is a shot on top, or a yeah. sinker, so they put the shot in Bottom. before they pour the pina. Oh, okay, same difference. Or you can get swimmer. one, the other, or a you swimmer. can get a man overboard. No, a swimmer is the middle. Oh, oh, oh. 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 I, just learned, oh. I just learned, oh. I just learned about the swimmer. Right so we had an economies and they had some live music. We ordered a round of Frozens, and we thought that'd be perfect opportunity to play some darts and maybe kick Mikey and Seamus' ass. <laughs> I got a 17 and a 20 market, baby. You know, the dark game started off strong. Gemma was my partner. We got some 18s, we got some maybe a 20 in there, and there were some Xs, and we were like Zorro up in there. And then all of a sudden it just started to fall apart, and so we got a second round of Frozens. We couldn't get the darts to stick, and we thought maybe it was time to move on. I really like Tiki for many reasons. It's a newer place out here. Some of my really good friends own it. The food is great. The inside is awesome. It's walking distance to my house, which is also a plus. I have my own Tiki mug there. Maybe one of you guys can use Meredith's Tiki mug. I have my own Tiki mug oh, too. Oh, you do too? I have, it's oh, an owl. Her name is Minerva. Oh, I've seen it. That's a good, yes, I've seen that my, mug. That's my that's mug. Tiki mug. <laughs> so we got to Tiki and there are lots of familiar faces. Uh, lots of our Rockaway friends were there. I have my own cup. Oh, Do you guys have your own cup at your bar? I'm just asking. Oh, look at this fucking thing. Oh. Wow. You don't fuck that up. <laughs> I know. Like, why would you say that? No pressure. No pressure. So we ordered a bunch of tiki drinks and definitely needed to get more food in us. One of the things that we got was the kimchi hot dog, which is one of my favorite things, and it's summertime, so now it's time to eat as many hot dogs as you can. It's got awesome house-made kimchi on the top. It's sweet, it's spicy. It's got a nice crunch from the dog. And we also had the tuna tower. They also have really great dumplings, so we got some of the teriyaki chicken dumplings. They have these togarashi spiced french fries with uh, spicy mayo, and they make their own togarashi blend, and those are a must-have for sure. We got the Karanje chicken sliders that are so good and crispy and light, and they're so small, so you can eat five million of them, and they're easy to share with friends. So the vibe in Tiki is great. They have Tiki stuff everywhere. They have this giant giraffe that lives at Tiki. Their other mascot besides the giraffe is Frida, the felt painting of a 70s Playboy pinup model that has a seashell covering a certain area that may or may not come down on certain wild nights. 
The staff is super fun and awesome. And as the night was winding down and the kitchen was closing, the kitchen came out and, you know, bartenders started hanging out and we took some shots. And then all of a sudden dance party ensued. If you're dancing and singing and drinking and just having a great old time and it was hard to leave. So fortunately or unfortunately at times, I live the life of a baker and I have to wake up very early. So at that point in the night at Tiki, which was probably a good point to stop, we had to call it and we ended our night there on a high note. High note. <laughs> Definitely shout out to the Rockaways because what an awesome place. I get to have this awesome bakery and amazing community and it's beautiful and a lot of people don't know about it. And now we are gonna hit the beach and maybe even go surfing. Let's keep this party going. <laughs> Start it up again.